Hey y'all, hey. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make keychains. These keychains are in the loving memory of my cousin slash god sister, Kaeja. Let's get started. Okay, so to start off, I used my HP inkjet printer and printed them out and sealed them with packaging tape because I did not have any more laminate um sheets to laminate it but it's all good this is going in uv resin so that's fine so um i lost my train of thought so sorry guys so we're gonna go ahead and cut it out you can use like any type of app to make the pictures in a circle shape um the app i use is fonto i use it off my phone um just to make sure the picture was in a perfect circle and then i adjusted the size and had the template for a four by six sheet okay Alrighty, so now it's all nice and cut out and they're all done and cut out so the next step is to go ahead and drill it i ended up having to use my electrical drill because that one was taking like way 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 too long but anyway once you're done you just go ahead and take the little eye part and you put it in and you twist it um it is kind of tight to twist but just be careful doing it because you can break it off and if that does happen you can just take a dermal or something and shave it down or sand it out to smooth it out and then drill into another spot okay um, so I went ahead and used tweezers to tighten it up. Now that's all done. Um, and I went ahead and got the rest of them done. So the first part is pretty much done. Okay. Um, now we're just going to take UV resin. I put some on the paper that I had cut because we are going to make sure these are secure as possible. I'm so sorry I was out of frame. But what I did was basically put it around the eye part. I'm going to show y'all exactly what it looks like it just reinforces it and makes sure it stays you know nice and secure because uv resin is pretty sturdy so y'all can see i really made sure to put it all on the outside so it wouldn't break off and it would stay connected so it's less likely to break so this is where i did make a mistake okay so when you're doing pictures i know sometimes it works perfectly fine but other times it does not and with this one it did not with me just putting the picture down and then pouring the uv resin on top since it's not like it's sticking to it um like the bottom part of the resin piece like the main part of the keychain i guess you can say um it just didn't stick and while it was carrying it caused some bubbles and y'all are going to see very shortly what that looked like but as y'all can see like i saw the bubble starting to form so i'm sitting here trying to pop it like I was just I don't know <laughs> I was trying to pop it or something but nope ended up kind of making it worse which is fine because all I had to do to fix it was to take my little drill piece that had the sandpaper part on it and I basically just sanded it down really really good and then I put more UV resin on top to fix it I did not show myself doing all that but that's how I did fix it um, y'all are going to see nail how big and lumpy that bubble got. But it was easy to sand down. It took like maybe 10 seconds. Alright, so the best way to do it is to put the UV resin like a small, small drop. But then push down the picture, spread it out. So then that way when you put on a layer on top of it, there's no resin trying to go under the picture and come back out to create those bubbles. So that's the technique I'm going to be using for now on because it definitely works. So that's what I'm going to do. So y'all can go ahead and watch while I do that. Oh yeah, in case y'all are wondering, while I was doing this part and sec the securing part with the resin, I had it here for 60 seconds because I knew it was going to spend more time under the UV light. And make sure to always seal your pictures because otherwise the quality of the pictures like will fade out like super duper bad, like really, 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 really bad. So make sure you either always laminate your pictures or use packing tape if you don't have any lamination sheets. Okay, okay. All 
right so now with this part we are going to do a layer of resin add some gold glitter and more resin and i'm going to start in a circular motion of course this is sped up you don't want to start too fast so that will cause you to have micro bubbles and the only way to get micro bubbles out of uv resin is using a lighter which i did not have while i was making this so trust me i was stirring um very very slowly now if you want these to come out like super glossy um to have some type of 3d almost bubble like shape to them you have to do multiple multiple layers okay but thin layers all right and now we are going to go with my deco color metallic gold paint pen that's the only brand i ever use i have that in gold i also have it in silver like anything i use it's literally that brand because it's so good but if you do accidentally get that paint on any type of resin piece all you need to do is take an alcohol wipe and it literally comes right off but you got to do it while it's wet you can't do it while, it, while it's dry so sorry y'all i'm a little tongue-tied but that's what they look like up close and on the side i'm going to use these little keychain pieces so i'm going to connect them and secure it as best as possible with these pliers i think they're called pliers i don't know and here is the grand reveal this was absolutely the hardest project i ever had to do like my god sister was my heart but thanks for watching and sleep in peace sissy